Hey, Blitz, beautiful day. Great for Gat family. Welcome back to the Sports Huddle. Today's Sports Huddle won't be too long. Hasn't been too much news, too much information that's been uh, given out over the last couple weeks here, or last couple days. We, we just had a Sports Huddle on Thursday, but over the last couple days. But before I get into the Sports Huddle rundown, I'm going to get directly to the Daily Verse. Daily Verse for the day of July 6, 2023. Derives from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 13, and it states as follows. And do not bring us into temptation, but deliver us from the wicked one. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 13. And it's morning, ladies and gentlemen, for the Sports Hutter Rundown. I'll be going over uh, NBA news, Big 3 recap, or I mean, Big 3 preview, excuse me. Um, Major League Baseball, WNBA, and NFL news. And also the Major League Baseball All-Star selection, All-Star team. Um, was announced also. So um, I'll be going over the, the Major League Baseball All-Star Team and the WNBA's All-Star Team. So uh, congratulations to everybody who was selected. I'm truly disappointed that no Atlanta Brave was selected. But, hey, when you play bad, you know, um, when, you, when you play bad overall and nobody's standing out, hey, nobody's going to be selected. So, But hopefully this motivates the, uh, the Braves and they continue to, to go forth and, you know, just try to, Jail together to play their best baseball as we continue to get into the back end of the of the uh, baseball season. So, so getting into the uh, getting into the NBA news. NBA news that I currently have at the moment. Uh, so, Buddy Hield, Buddy Hield, he is a um, he is a Warrior. So the Warriors did a sign and trade with um, Buddy Hill. So Buddy Hill, he received a twenty one million dollar guarantee. They did a sign. And a sign and trade deal with the 76ers. Uh, so they get so the Warriors got him for two years and the 76ers received a 2031 second round pick. So they got a 2030 second round pick that the Warriors received from the Dallas Mavericks in the Clay Thompson sign and trade. So I didn't, I didn't even know Clay, Clay Thompson did a sign and trade. I just thought he got signed with them. Um, but the Warriors also signed DeAnthony Melton and Kyle Anderson. So um, those two guys are, are going to the Warriors organization to join Buddy Hield. Um, also, out of the Magic camp, we had Franz Wagner. Franz Wagner, uh, a Ford out of, out of Orlando. He signed a five-year, $224 million rookie contract extension, um, a deal that could be worth up to $269 million. So, um... You know, he hasn't been he hasn't had a disappointing career. Um average nineteen point seven points last year, five point three round five point three rebounds and three point seven assists. Um so which wasn't bad. So um definitely a definitely a person who has a, a, a bright bright spot for the magic, you know, so obviously they think so. You know you know, to pay him two hundred and twenty four million dollars. Um and then also the team USA, team USA, they um, they met up this past week to start their United United States men's basketball team um, training camp to prepare them for their summer their summer event um, in basketball later on in in the month. Well, it, it, they'll probably be playing like in the beginning of August, but later on in the summer, um, the Olympics is going to start on the twenty sixth of July and end in August. So the the men's basketball team probably won't play until like August. August 3rd, August 4th, maybe, something like that. Um, maybe before then, probably like August 1st. Also, um, out of the NBA camp, again, we have Summer League kicking off today. Summer League kicks off today. The California Classic on the California Classic kicks off today at 4.30 p.m. on ESPN. We're going to have the Kings host the Lakers, and then we're going to have the Warriors host the Heat. The Warriors host the Heat today at 6.30 p.m. on ESPN. Then the late night game starting at 8.30 p.m. will transition to NBA TV. Um, the Spurs will host the Hornets tonight at 8.30 p.m. on NBA TV. And then the Kings won. So the Kings have two teams playing tonight. The Kings the Kings second team is playing um, later on in the afternoon at 4.30 p.m. against the Lakers. And then Kings won and will be hosting China tonight at 10.30 p.m. on NBA TV. So, again, uh, the Summer League has kicked off. And it will it will go from July 6th through to July 22nd. And I will have um, the rest of the games as they continue to come forth uh, 
with the game. So yeah, the California Classic continues tomorrow. Um, at, for Sunday, July seventh, we have the Sacramento Kings hosting the Miami Heat at four thirty p.m. We have the Golden State Warriors hosting the Los Angeles Lakers at six thirty p.m. We have the China the China national team going to begin the Charlotte Hornets tomorrow night at eight p.m. And then we have Charlotte Hornets. And then we had a San Antonio Spurs going up against the Sacramento Kings tomorrow night at 10 p.m. So I'm pretty sure that's, they'll be on NBA TV or on ESPN. But the games for today will be on ESPN and NBA TV. So make sure y'all tune in. Uh, then moving on to the Big Three. Again, the Big Three kicks off today. Um, I, I believe Sunday. I'm sorry. I, I believe I said that Sunday. I believe they are playing this Sunday. Yeah, they're playing on Sunday. They're kicking off this Sunday. July 7th at 1 p.m. on CBS or X. And week four is as follows out of Newark, New Jersey. We have Threes of Company hosting Ghost Ballers. Tri State is hosting the Enemies. Three Headed Monsters is hosting Trilogy. The Triplets are going up against the Aliens. Power is hosting Ball Hogs. And Bebo Whack is hosting the Killer Threes. So again, make sure y'all tune in tomorrow um, to support the Big Three. They will be on X or CBS tomorrow, kicking off at 1 p.m. Moving on to Major League Baseball. Again, Major League Baseball's all-star list was announced. So I'm going to go over that real quick before I get into the uh, re review and the recap from this week. So uh, starting it off with the American League. The American League all-stars are Adley Rutschman from the Orioles. He's the catcher. At first base, we have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. from the Blue Jays. At second base, we have Jose Altuve from the Astros. At shortstop, we have Gunnar Henderson from the Orioles. And this is the American League. For third base, we have Jose Ramirez from the Guardians. The designated hitter is Jordan Alvarez from the Astros. In the outfield, you have Aaron Judge from the Yankees. You have Juan Soto from the Yankees, and you have Stephen Kwan from the Guardians. Moving to the National League, the National League All-Stars are as follows. The catcher is William Contreras from the Brewers. First baseman is Bryce Harper from the Phillies. Second baseman is Cato Marte from the Diamondbacks. The shortstop is Trey Turner from the Phillies. Again, it's the, this is the National League. The third baseman is Alec Bohm from the Phillies. The designated hitter, the designated hitter, excuse me, is Shoei Otani. The outfield is as follows: You have Christian Yelich from the Brewers, Jerkinson, Profar from the Padres, and you have Fernando Titus Jr. from the Padres as well. So again, congratulations to all those gentlemen who were selected for the All Star. And again, I'm truly disappointed to not see no Atlanta Brave on the uh, on the All Star list. Moving on to the WNBA All Stars for 2024. Again, I announced on Saturday, on this past Thursday, that um, Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese made their first ever All Star selection. So super, super stoked and excited for those young ladies. But the okay, let's see what we got here. The women's all-star will be later on this month on July 20th. And again, the all-star selections are as follows. From Team WNBA, you have Dewana Bonner, Aaliyah Boston, Caitlin Clark, Alicia Gray. Shout out to the dream. She, she really is our best player outside of Ryan Howard. Um, then Dierica Hamby, Brianna Jones, Jonquel Jones, Kayla McBride. Kelsey Mitchell, Arike Agumboali, Nineka Ugwimiki, and Angel Reese. Congratulations, ladies, on that selection. Um, and then you have U.S. Women's National Team. You have, you have, hold on, yeah. And then... For a team from USA Women's National Team, you have Nafisha Collier. So this is how the WNBA All-Star is, is going this year. So you have Team WNBA, 
and the team WNBA is going against the U.S. Women's National Team, who's going to be playing in the Olympics. So remember, there was a lot of controversy early in the year about Caitlin Clark then get a, get a you know an opportunity to be on the national women's team. So this year, this moment, now she have an opportunity to go play against those women who are representing the U.S. in, in later on in July. So again, at All Star Weekend. Excuse me. So the USA Women's National Team is as follows: the Fiji Collier, Kalia Cooper, Chelsea Gray, Brittany Griner, Sabrina Inescu, Jewel Lloyd, Kelsey Plum, Brianna Stewart, Diana Taurasi, Alyssa Thomas, Angel Wilson, and Jackie Young. So, again, um, congratulations to all those ladies who have been selected for. The All Star Weekend for the first ever All Stars and the first ever women who are being a part of the U.S. Women's National Team. Congratulations! Now moving back to Major League Baseball for recap from Thursday through this weekend. From Thursday games in Major League Baseball, we had the Giants defeat the Braves four to two, the Nationals over the Mets one to zero, the Cardinals defeated the Pirates three to two, the Reds defeated the Yankees eight to four. The Astros defeated the Blue Jays 5-3. The Red Sox defeated the Marlins 6-5. The Guardians over the White Sox 8-4. The Twins defeated the Tigers 12-3. The Cubs defeated the Phillies 10-2. The Padres defeated the Rangers 3-1. The Athletics defeated the Angels 5-0. The Mariners over the Orioles 7-3. The Rockies defeated the Brewers 4-3. The Rays over the Royals 10-8. And the Diamondbacks defeated the Dodgers 9-3. For Friday games July 5th, we had the Phillies defeat the Braves 8-6. The Cubs over the Angels 5-1. The Pirates dominated the Mets 14-2. The Cardinals defeated the Nationals 7-6. The Red Sox over the Yankees 5-3. The White Sox defeated the Marlins 3-2. The Giants over the Guardians 4-2. The Tigers defeated the Reds 5-4. The Rangers over the Rays 3-0. The Astros defeated the Twins in a tight one, 13-12. The Rockies over the Royals 4-2. The Padres over the Diamondbacks 10-8. The Orioles defeated the Athletics 3-2. The Mariners over the Blue Jays 2-1. And the Dodgers defeated the Brewers 8-5. For today's games, kicking off at uh, 1 p.m., we have the Yankees hosting the Red Sox. Twins versus the Astros, the Cubs hosting the Angels, the Mets going up against the Pirates, the Nationals hosting the Cardinals, the Rays versus the Rangers, the Athletics versus the Orioles, the Braves are hosting the Phillies tonight at 7.15 p.m. on Fox, we have the, Mar the Marlins hosting the White Sox, the Reds hosting the Tigers, the Giants going up against the Guardians, the Mariners hosting the Blue Jays. The Dodgers are hosting the Brewers on Fox tonight as well, 7.15 p.m. The Rockies hosting the Royals, and the Diamondbacks going up against the Padres. For Sunday games, July 7th, the Phillies host, I mean, the Braves host the Phillies. Pirates host the Mets. National versus the Cardinals. Marlins versus the White Sox. Tigers going up against the Reds. Guardians versus the Giants. Astros going up against the Twins. Cubs host the Angels. Rangers versus the Rays. The Rockies going up against the Royals. The Orioles going up against the Athletics. The Padres are hosting the Diamondbacks tomorrow afternoon at 4.10 p.m. on Roku. The Dodgers are hosting the Brewers. The Blue Jays are going up against the Mariners. And the Red Sox are hosting, excuse me, and the Yankees are hosting the Red Sox tomorrow night at 7 p.m. on ESPN. Moving on to the WNBA recap. WNBA from Thursday, July 4th. We had the Kinetic Sun defeat the Minnesota Lynx 78-73. And we had the Las Vegas Aces defeat the D.C. Mystics 98-77. Friday games, July 5th, we had the Dallas Wings defeat the Atlanta Dream 85-82. The L.A. Sparks defeated the Las Vegas Aces 98-93. And the Chicago Sky defeated the Seattle Storm 88-84. Um, also in that game, Caitlin Clark, she scored a career high of 27 points. And she had, I believe... Let's see, she had 27 points and 10 rebounds to continue to add on to her double-double streak. Um, so playing, playing, you know, high-level basketball, super, super stoked for her. And as she continues to show off her talents as she goes forth and compete against the uh, women's national team in the All-Star weekend. So 
For today's games, July 6th, kicking off at 1 p.m., we have the Indiana Fever hosting the New York Liberty today at 1 p.m. on CBS. And then tonight at 8 p.m., we have the Minnesota Lynx hosting the D.C. Mystic. For Sunday games, July 7th, kicking off at 1 p.m., we have the Kinetic Sun hosting the Atlanta Dream. We have the Las Vegas Aces hosting the Dallas Wings tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. on ESPN. We have the Seattle Storm hosting the Chicago Sky. And we have the L.A. Sparks hosting the Phoenix Mercury. So, uh, To wrap up the sports huddle for today, I'm going to get into some NFL news. Uh, not, not too, too much has come out of the NFL right now, uh, out of the camps and things of that nature. Um, I have heard of rumors that um, we are expected to uh, pursue Khalil Mack, even though I don't know how that's going to work and who are we going to give up and how he's going to fit in a rotation but any any rotation can fit for a defensive lineman you know it, it's always good to have effective defensive linemen uh rotating so um you know we shall see if that if that, if that cookie crumbles um but other than that um not too much really you know again um uh, let's see what we got here Dak Prescott is looking healthy going forward into camp he's he's out of his walking boot um then we have um the ex-49ers Defensive back Gibson, he got banned from the NFL for um, for player enhancement drugs. So he got suspended for six games, I believe, banned for six games. Let's get more information. Yeah, suspended six games. So that's, that's unfortunate. Um, let's see what we got. The defensive back John Johnson III has agreed to terms with the team from the L.A. Rams. So he's now an L.A. Ram. Um, and also, there's still information uh, brewing around Brandon Ayuk and his decision making. And, well, not his decision making. He said he wanted to be a 49er, but he doesn't feel like the 49ers want him to be there. So uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of these teams are actively um, searching the market. I mean, uh, no, actively pursuing him um, in this offseason market because he is a good receiver and um, he could definitely elevate any team for sure. Um, but. That's all I have for y'all today for the sports huddle. Y'all make sure y'all tune in tomorrow for examining the scriptures. Um, y'all be blessed. Have a great today. I love y'all. And as always, give God glory to be able to awaken into his presence today. And let's make the best of it. Until next time. Peace.